six minutes left. Still, both sides could win this. Cristiano, is on the middle of the respawn. Absolutely perfect. The spawn wave comes in. Two MGs. Peekaboo, Cripable. It is a mess. Look at the, the carnage. My goodness. Earlier today, we had Raptors and DC taking on Trigger on Ramagun over in the HGA Major League. Meanwhile, in the minor league, Sesh loaded their backpacks and headed over to Hergen Forest to take on Colt and PZL. Results are in. Who won? Go check those games out. However, it's not over though. What we have lined up for this evening is incredible in the HGA Major League. Gary's only fans and void are against 82 AD over on the beaches of Utah. Go check out Garth Nix's stream for that game. However, we will be bracing ourselves for what I say is the biggest rival battle out there in Hell Let Loose. It's WTH taking encore on Utah Beach. Kickoff in around about 14 minutes time. There is a 30 minute delay. Regardless of the delay, it is going to be an absolute fantastic game. Core against WTH. They have been neck to neck from pretty much the beginning. It's a fantastic um, time when we see those two teams playing together. It's brutal. It's fantastic. It's on Utah Beach, which if you actually have a look of it, you know, to put the pros and cons together throughout the map, it generally is a very, very balanced side. Yes, the points can favour the opposition, whichever way you look at it, you know, but it really is a fair, fair map. And, and to have two fantastic teams playing tonight is going to be absolutely incredible. There is a prediction on who you think will win. So channel points are, are being used here. So put your money or put your channel points where you think who will win. Will it be Core or will it be WTH? WTH are the axes for tonight and Core are the allies. Points is everything right now. Core, extremely aggressive. WTH, a great all-rounder team. Who's going to get that first point? Will it be WTH and hold Core to the end? Will Core be able to take that first point, that middle point, and go straight on to, to go and cap the fourth point? We see numerous times and where they go straight towards the next point. It's certainly going to be interesting. Now, before I get involved um, and talking about everything else, I just want to say a big, big thank you for, for the community that has kind of really been supporting me on trying to get my PC fixed. It's absolutely bugging me. It's really, really stressing me out. I've been trying desperately to try and get this uh, stream working. Um, so so thank you. Thank you, Lapino, uh, Captain ba uh, Bazinga, uh, and Chronic, you know, really, really helped me. And there's a few other people that have helped me as well, but I uh, just really, really appreciate that. And I've been testing it. I was up 
till four o'clock in the morning running a bio system and it seems to be working it seems pretty pretty good um so fingers crossed we are going for it now obviously i will be streaming in the english das alberg will be taken over onto the course side in german so if you fancy the game in german or just watching the game as the course side go and have a little look at das alberg now as the standings are tonight court is first they have played three they've won three they beat tl evo and 82 ad but they have played on utah in hea um last week against 82 ad so will that favor them we will see uh wth have had the upper game they have played four however they are joint fifth winning this could bump them up a huge amount now and, and maybe core will be knocked off off first place we'll see they have played four they have won two they have played Re uh, raptors in dc where they won they played against 116 where they lost uh they won against 38 and then they lost against trigger um wth yet to play on utah beach so far on hca but regardless of if they've played it on this game in the tournament we have played this numerous times it is a map that we all know but we are going to go have a little look at the lineup kick off in just over 10 minutes core team we have got Havold leading it with squealer angry bird Styrix, nice uh Nalbrezi. Nosbria, OPE, uh, Archery Assassin, Gold Dragon, George Lee, Imit, Grey, Raisin, Akurus, CIA, Mr. Pink, Dobran, Soviet Viking, uh, JP Wonderchild, uh, Snatcher, Snatcher, Fabstar, Pepsi, uh, Ripul, Will, Joker, uh, Zeda, We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, Godsend, Tao John, Bully, Fielder, Bommel, Pocket, Mandini, Crusader, Papa, J. Thompson, Killer, uh, Antrop, Zoom, Nero, Sema, uh, Puma, Humo Pemo, Mosh, Tim Machine, Hav Harold, uh, Henning B. Uh, oh, I got this one wrong last time. Ryzen Beachin? Uh, we'll go with that. Uh, E X S and Crux. Um, that is a team we have got for the core side. We're gonna have a little look at the WTH side. The man himself, Chronic up top, leading the game with Oscar, Captain Benfield, Sergeant Rico, Jockey Dancer, Crusader, Bobblebid, Heidi, Ukulele. Lokna, Frutan, Bayram, Kugel, Zvin, Orbit, Boy Next Door, Vudiaka, Vudia, uh, Bohemian Cynic, Mevins, Wobblegon, Toch, Incognito, Flash, DL, Rhinout. We got Blank, Nikolili, Curious George, Dune, uh, Blitzoy, House Gangster, Wazoo, Reformed Gamer, Torfisk, Enormous, Sitch, German, Wild Bill, Crowd Killer, Yarek, Duba, Abu, TLA, Jagged, Frazzle, Doodlebugs, Imalo, Caf Babe, and Jacob. Caf Babe and Jacob are the two recruits for tonight, so eyes are on them. Hopefully, they do very well tonight. Big, big support on those. Now, we haven't got long, eight minutes. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. As we know, WTH on our left in the red. Core as the allies in the blue. We have got WN4, Chapel, and WN7. Now, let's have a look at, um, let's go with WN4 as the first one. Now, let's take a quicker look. Now, for, for, for sure, the um, core will be looking to come up top. Uh, let me just do this. 
or we'll be looking to take out this building here because you can get a garrison you can put a, um, an op you can get reinforcements up here as well both teams will be looking towards to go grandma house that is a hundred percent we'll be seeing that they will be flanneling in and around um the main push into the barn we might even see some coming up the road here or even down as well um for the other side for wth a little bit difficult for them to get into this point so hopefully um for their sake they will cap this they will go straight directly into it maybe going through the barbed wire parking up right into the the barn there and then just filter out again we know they're going to go for for um grandma's house that is very important to take if you don't have wn4 you have to have grandma's house as one of many areas to secure they have to have it to have a push especially if you're the axis because if you don't have it it is extremely difficult for you to get around but if you are defending it you have to make sure that that is there of course let's have a little look at chapel now chapel is probably um a balanced one i'd, I'd say uh, wm4 kind of favors um allies uh wm7 favors axis chapel yes it's closest to the allies but i think it's a bit of both and i think axis do have a good area where they can set up and push into this point here now straight away both teams have to go for grandma's house that is very very key now another parent in this map uh for this for this chapel point will be these buildings here um we see every time every time we have ops garrisons something around this area here so i will be extremely shocked if nothing is put up here um so that is going to be very interesting i think the core guys will be putting a lot of pressure from the RT straight away onto this point here. But also we can get a lot of infantry from WTH straight up down the uh, the river and straight up into this like a little building just around here where they can park up their truck and push into. Um, very balanced. I think that this could be a very good point. Um, and especially for a... a such an intense game that we're going to have today uh having this as an area or the point to have you know both teams aren't going to want it for sure i i don't think any teams would want chapel um whether you're attacking it defending it you know unless you've probably got hill, hill five behind you for the allies i don't think it's it's the point that both people want um but tank support from hill five they might have both teams will probably get something going around trying to flank we might even see a recon tank going right up into wm4 on both teams and, and and try to work their way down you know we'll see a lot of that um but if you are on chapel rt is gonna be absolutely on you let's have a look at wm7 <clears throat> wn7 um we we know that both teams will have to well for the axis for the wth start they have to look after this area here the flanking area from the the allies if you secure this you kind of control the north area of your wn7 so it's very important that they get something set up there because the, uh, the allies will be flanking and trying to push in and around there <clears throat> Both teams will want to take control of this particular building here. You hold that and, you know, uh, sorry, for, for Axis, they need to take out this building here because that will be their reinforcements from, from core. They will have something there. They will feed WN7 like crazy. So that is very important that that gets taken out as soon as possible. Um, we are very close to the time we're on 85 we're on 85 so we're we're good for now good for now <clears throat> um 100 we will see some sort of tank pushing 
um, the bottom, the bottom in and around here. You know, that's inevitable. They have to get a tank up here. Paul will look to try and get one. There's a building just about here that they can kind of sneak up to and just kind of hold. Um, WTH will probably get one on and around this area here where you can kind of get some bushes and cover where they could shoot onto the WN7. We might even see WTHs take on the role that TL did on this map where they lost against the TL um, back in the semi semi final playoffs where one tank did just sit here the entire game and it was very, very difficult for WTH to, to, to push on to the point. So whether WTH will actually look to that, but it's very, very good from play from TL. So will WTH learn from that? Will they even do it themselves? I don't know, but I'm expecting something around there. <clears throat> Out of all of the points, I would probably prefer WN4. I think that's going to be a bit more interesting from us. If it's not, it has to be WN7 for me. Um, WN7, absolutely fantastic. But it's not always about the middle point. It's about what second. If you have got a second point that's extremely defendable, that gives you more pressure onto the attack. So it's going to be very, very um, good. But we will see for sure. Don't forget, you've got a last few minutes um, of, uh, I think you've probably got about five, maybe six minutes of the um, the map, the, the vote, sorry, the vote. So put your last minute channel points on and we will get straight into the game. Let's have a little look. We're on 97, so we are pretty ready to go i will see you inside go grab that drink Double check and everything should be okay. Now let's have a look at the phone. Ooh! Wait, we've got chapel at the moment. So whether we'll have chapel again, um which but hopefully not, you know, having you know chapel the same as what we're kind of warming up to right now um we'll see i think we're looking like we've just got one player left to join um do not forget that we should have and where is the main man he should be on this side i don't see him oh no that's because it's not Trying to look for uh, Daz Albert, but obviously Daz Albert, I don't think he's streaming himself. I think it'll be more um, more his yeah, little minion. We're at 100. We are at 100. So, ladies and gentlemen, the map is about to start. WTH taking on court, the biggest rival in my eyes. It's gonna be epic. It's going to be fantastic. I am trying to save my voice because I will be screaming like a motherfucker. 10 seconds, go grab that drink, go do what you need to do. And I'll see you on the other side.
Hunt layer, eh? Have a look at the points. Oh. It's not bad at all. It's very, very safe. It, it, it is good. You know, we've got... Where's where's the next one? What was it? Got his name. St. Marie Approach. Drown Fields for WTH. Then on to WN7. So having three points at the baseline is very very good and they're all back together back to back and very close for each other so that is a huge advantage to wth however we have got hill five and red roof for the for the first and second of course so this is also very very good for them however it's in the middle to both you know wth can kind of flank around that a little bit more easy but to attack hill five is very difficult. You have a big open field to push into. So it's quite easily defendable when you don't really have something to push onto from there. You know, like cap point. So 30 seconds remaining. I am super excited. Super, super excited. Have a little look. If any new players have just joined, it does look like we have got everyone that we've mentioned earlier. Okay. It's kicked off. Barriers are down. Shooting is already happening. <clears throat> missing from the WTH tanks I'm not seeing any shots back from core yet as they push we can see some going towards hill 5 already but the majority come in down the main road and that's I was going to say that's very dangerous of core having a tank push on the main road we don't have anything yet. Core might not be the first. It looks like WTH are in the point here. Kugu gets off. Zoom gets off for core. Big amount of players for WTH. It's a strong cap break. Yes! WTH taking out the first truck there. Absolute huge advantage for them. Zoom is the only player left remaining. Boy next door almost goes down to the WTH RT. Now we're looking at over here. Thanks, guys. Toki goes down. Sema survived just for a second. Oh, it's getting interesting. Bubble. Bubble takes it out. Let's have a look. Now, we were talking about this earlier. It's very important that WTH now work on this particular building here. They hold that. It's going to be extremely difficult core to, to push into here. We've got Crusader going in against Sergeant Rico. Sergeant Rico absolutely loving the German um, the German assault. Now I'm hoping that the sound is all good. I really hope it's all good. No way! What a shot from the artillery, taking out a whole, a whole spawn of players there from core. Gold Dragon desperate to try and repair his tank. This is a fantastic start from WTH. Can they keep it up though? We have got plenty of time left. Have a little look. 
at this map here. We've got Wild Beyond Pro Proud Killer looking towards to go to Hill 5. Absolutely nothing at the moment. No one's going to be able to take it out as it pushes on. We've got JKL taking over Chapel. Securing that area, which is good area that they need to hold. Benfield and Abu looks like they want to start working towards the next point. We've already seen anti RT hit. Let's have a look, look at this ants. Oh, it's not bad. Lots of defense on core. <clears throat> WTH absolutely has a fantastic solid defensive perimeter on this doing very well core absolutely not getting anywhere close to it bubble beard wants to push out the semi once again will, will bubble beard oh tried it we'll see Oh, I think that was actually Semo. I don't know if that was Doom there. <laughs> disgusting! Absolutely disgusting here. Now, Lochner, Sven, Frutan, Orbit, and Boy Next Door looking to take over this building. That's their next objective. Doki pushes. Oh, getting supported by the RT. Orbit is still alive. Krugu pushes. Top piece. Absolutely pinned in the middle here. Heidi. Heidi goes down. Ask us. Ask us the revenges. No garrison up in WN7. Now, I'm not a tactical man and I don't watch or look into any tacticals, but surely there's something wrong with that. WTH not even having a garrison on WN7. We'll see. But for now, it's not that important because they are defending extremely, extremely well. Having oh, this is good. Having two tanks here. Reform Torfisk and Enormous with the support. And I can't see that light one. There it is. Wobblegong and Kurish George. Gugu taking over Vin's liquor store. Which is what they wanted. This is going to be dangerous. Oh, they missed their shot. They missed their opportunity. Next one comes in. Gets a hit. Oh. Core cool. just missing their shots there. The light tank will start to flank round. And hopefully catch some sort of OP or garrisons. Who was that again? Wobblegong and Curious. On the hunt. Oh, and it goes down. Maybe a mine. I don't think that was tank shot it. Must have been a mine. <clears throat> Let's have a little look at the hill fire. No, Rupe! Taking out the recon tank here. Wazu unknowingly is pushing up to a garrison. Oh, 
Ah. No! What's he doing? What's he doing? Why is he confused? Ow! Oh, oh dear. What a mistake. What a mistake. Now, if that garrison goes down because of that player, he will be absolutely gutted. Core cool. got a solid line against both points here. Profit looks towards the push, Oscar. Jockey with the kill. Profit is inside though. Don't know if. Oh no, what was that? A grenade. In. Profit was just peeping outside that window. Great kill from Profit. Oscar's here. Jockey. The tank pushes out. This is aggressive. I believe it was Reform Profit and Enormous. Easy hit. Easy hit for the tank. What were they playing at? Now, who's in that supply truck? It is, of course, the one and only house. <clears throat> Give him a few minutes and he'll get something out. We're not seeing anything from... From the course better perspective, in terms of flanking here, we got Chronic. Just keeping an eye on the outside of the rim. Squealers in front though. Chronic not looking. Nor the Squealer. Squealer, here's the shots. Here's it. Great kill. Chronic down. Oh. Marsh has made the way through here. Semma is <clears throat> desperate to try and get a few kills here. Lock now pushes on his own. Takes one. Takes two. Lot knows it's extremely dangerous. Profit once again with a great kill. <clears throat> now. We are seeing a bit of a cap over here at Hill 5. <clears throat> Ukulele. Against Pepsi. Pepsi pushes wide. For now. Not anymore. Keeping Kukulele in the eyes. Sergeant Rico is getting hit. He goes down. Locked off. Desperate with full of long shot. Clearly, just keeping it close at the moment, keeping it tight. Pepsi okay, so just waiting for reinforcements, but the WCH are coming. Great long hit from Abu with the recon. You can see them lighting up now. 
Look, I might get hit on the side though. Let's have a look. Hey. Oh my god! Oh! Fucking disgusting on lockdown! Oh. No! Just a minute silence for that, please, because that was disgusting! We're not even 20 minutes into the game and we're seeing some disgusting kills. Yeah. That hurt my hand. Stinging. Oh, smoke. That can only be, and should only be, cause core looking to hopefully try and get some sort of push on here. Or a bit desperate to hold him back. Zvin is also there. Orbit's down. Zvin's on his own. Not anymore. Good opening oh i say that i say it was a good opening look at that did we see a tank out in the open we don't <clears throat> duba as a sniper tonight <clears throat> probably running around with the fg42 but do the searches. Oh, he's just got a spawn in front of him. Takes it out unknowingly. Gets one, but there is one player on the right. <clears throat> Profit so far doing so well for his team here. What else can he do? Orbit about to do an execution. Kill on profit, absolutely does. <laughs> Nicolelli goes down. We're seeing two OPs around at Hill Five. Heidi Bubble Beer, uh, Bubble Beer, and Fruitan pushing on. Satchel on. The American tank, the US tank goes down. Zoom is here. Deadly player for core against Heidi. Heidi comes out first place. But. <clears throat> Don't know, gets one on the side. A great opening here where he can push up to. <clears throat> this is the opportunity now. A decent spawn in. <clears throat> Did he get it? He got it! Did he? Not bad. Absolute accurate shot. How did he get that? Must have been recon, surely. Not bad. Anyway, fantastic hit. 
Let's have a little look to see if the garrison is still up over here. Because we did see one earlier. It does maybe look like Abu got it out. Looks like we're seeing another one. Didn't quite catch him. <clears throat> yeah, as intense as it is. WTH does have the upper hand over here at Hill 5 on Hill 5. It's Frutan 80 against Core Leder. Frutan with the kill. Cal, Kelly John goes down. Will Mel still alive for now. Frutan pushes away. <clears throat> WTH have got the players, but just outnumbered. Outnumbered. They did have a good opportunity there to 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 actually work on Hill Five, but. Only having kind of one OP there didn't really affect Core as much. The delay, it looked like he's coming from the north here. Let's see. <laughs> Expresso. It survives there for now. Who is that? Crowd killer. And Wild Bill desperate to try and take that MG out. But we might see him go down. Let's have a look. Great shot from Core. Very equal game right now. Squealer on the right. Mark in the tank. For sure. Toki on the left with Duba and Jockey in front. They come out on top. Jay Thompson. Marks the tank as well, but... Duba not actually uh, sniper anymore. He's actually gone as a rifleman. We'll see. As uh, Dorban wants to push him. Let's have a close eye on this. Job to grenade. Duba taking it very, very closely. But he's extremely outnumbered here. And goes down straight away. WTH managed, has now managed to push right out to the next set of barbed wire. So that's going to be a great frontal defensive from Wobble Gun and Blake. That's going to be very beneficial beneficial for them. Also having the building on the, on the left side as well is a huge benefit as well. It's going to be extremely difficult for Core. And I'm seeing, it looks to me like a tank in an absolute fantastic angle here shooting through here decent angle may enable to fire straight through and having a repair station it's going to be a very difficult tank to take down Core winning the battle on the northwest side, taking charge of the buildings, incognito and duba, spawning back from the OP. Imolo goes down to Soviet Viking. Duba might go down from behind. This. But 
Will the OP survive? It does look like it. It should still be there in the corner. We'll see how big the spawn is. It should be a full team. Minus two. Uh, but it looks like it might be only one or two players. Incognito. Engage straight away. Mounts. Mounts. Does it mount? But the OP will go down. For sure, FJP. Edges forward. Wobble gone and blank. Pushed even further out now. Kugu against FRD and Stim Machine. I think we might see a counter from Vudaya. Will we? He's got the angle. It looks like he wants to just throw a grenade. It, he's desperate. He goes down in a nick of time before he throws the grenade. Fantastic kill. Could have been dangerous. Could have been dangerous. Let's have a little look at Hill 5 now. Bubble beard all alone. What will Bubble do, Beard do? He can put like a two minute sector down if he feels like he's about to lose a point, which could be uh, uh, an option if he feels like he's about to go down. But right now, best to keep it. WTH smoke on Hill 5, but no one there yet. Really benefit, and I believe that that was Bubble Beard's yeah, cool. Through 10 jumps, ducks, waves, but goes down. Rupee against Lochnar. Let's have a little look at this. Lochnar absolutely waiting. Rupee waiting. Kukulele. He's down. Lotna might catch him. Doesn't look. Will he catch him? And does. The main man himself, Bukor, running back. Maybe to get a garrison up. Maybe to check out the garrison. That might be hot because Heidi is floating around and Pepsi just brushes Heidi to the side. Move out the way. You're not coming through here. This is our area. Great defensive play here. Now, Bully has made his way around this he needs to be extremely careful quick on the gun but what is about to happen there Kugu is about to push Kugu goes down bully can get Vidya no 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 This is what I mean. The rivalness between these two teams. They will do anything to take out a player. Even if it means blowing them up with a 10 meter rocket to the face. <clears throat> but gets revenge. How are we looking at WN7? Fully defended. Tuki. Tukai. Getting closer but... I think Blank might actually go down. He does. Tuki continues quite a split second before one of the players. I think that might have been Wobblegum. Wobblegum. 
just over half an hour being played. WTH winning 3 to 2 here. Taking out WN7 with pretty much ease. Gar uh, transport truck going down right at the beginning from the RT. Followed up with some great um, push pushing back from WTH. Core struggled to find their way into it, but for now. It is plenty of time and only one point in it. That direct hit on the tank. So they know where the tank is from the RT. Just missed it a little bit. Ah, this is good. Smoke the tank so they can't see. Will there be another one? Look at these two tanks. Just don't move, basically. For this point here, the tanks have to be extremely careful. Where they go, and we're seeing another AT rocket from Bully taking out a WTH player. He is playing disgusting. Forget the cheat codes forget anything he is taking absolutely no victims tonight benfield again zoom zoom i don't think he's aware where benfield is benfield wins the duel but for a split second leather Oh, doing very well defending struggling to find this garrison up in and around this area here it looks like it might be around there yeah you can just see the outline in the middle of the screen Core oh, struggling to find where that is bay ramp oh core have heard the shots bay ramp I was going to say, has a limited time to live. Bubble beard. Changing from engineer to AT. Now it's going to be AT versus AT. Big spawn from WTH. From Kukulele's team. Bubble beard taking out the player. And look at this now. Jay Thompson and Leather know where the WTH are spawning from. They're going to start be pushing them. One goes down already. Abu with the flare gun up. Crusader inside the building against Rudia. Semma wants to push in as well now. Tim Machine goes down. Rudia still alive inside the building. Jumps down to the next level. It looks like it might be Semma. Emma gets the kill. Flyers coming down for WTH. Does look like now. <clears> or <throat> have taken charge of this building here, but big, big but a garrison right there. It's going to be extremely difficult for him. Looks like we're seeing. A bombing run. I'm expecting it to be in and around this line here. To help with the ball. There it is. Google. Nikolaili. I believe that was okay. Swin goes down. And I think that might have also taken down the garrison. Let's have a little look. Garrison survives. <laughs> that bombing run has done absolutely nothing now. It was fantastic. It was accurate. But just didn't take out the garrison 
it's going to be even more difficult <clears throat> now. But I think Espresso might see this garrison here. Maybe Sema can get an eyes on it. Sema, are you going to take out? Spawn comes in. <clears throat> Sema needs to get up and get this garrison out. Oh dear. Desperate to push back out into the building. Retake it. Duba wants to be the man that leads it. <clears throat> Suppresso against Duba. Inside the building. Not seeing each other yet. Suppresso looks like he's going down. But to get back into that building where Expresso is. Expresso is still alive in there though. Not anymore. Tim Machine pushes. Crusader goes down straight away as he spawns in. Absolutely disgusting. Tim Machine should probably go down as well if the RT is carrying on hitting that angle. Gus. Misses out. That kill goes on. Another spawn wave from Crusader. Crusader survives a little bit longer this time. WTH loses that battle in the building there. Big push out from Core. Going towards miss I think that might have actually got one player no no just uh just wounded him I'm not seeing any of uh rockets from core yet let's see if they've got any recon Playing around at the RT. No recon, no nothing against WTH's RT. Now, unless this is. No, this is. This is. Okay. Maybe they just got taken out and lost their OP. I'm not too sure. But it'll be extremely weird if Quad did not have someone for a team going but mosh yeah. go, go. Go, go. just in a nick of time takes out the core player he was desperate to get that satchel on and i don't think he did i don't think he had time it doesn't look like it but definitely knows that there's a garrison there we might expect some arty coming in we'll see Being coming in. Pump, pump, pump. Pump. Wants to get close up, but he's putting the set. No, he's desperate. Don't put a set there. I don't think that that's going to do anything. I think it's a bit too far. It might take one out, two players out, but uh, for me, that's too far. But I say that. He's looking very healthy. Was that the garrison down? No, garrison down, but... One, two, three, four. Four players might go down here. Rudy are just getting out of the radius. No, actually not. Zvin might be the only player to survive this. Godsend will go down, though. I'll take it back. And did it? 
No way. Where is that? Where is that? Ah, I hate it. You can't see it. What? As core progress on to WN7, it's all happening here. Benfield, Heidi, and his teams having a big, big advantage over here on Hill 5. Airhead coming up from Chronic. Looking towards to just try and get onto Red Roof straight away and, and hold him because I'm expecting a big push from Core. But they have to cap it first. Here they come Pepsi, JP, Ruler, and Fielder. Benfield and Heidi. The two players that you actually want to be alive are still alive here. Squad leaders. Pepsi going towards Heidi. JP and Benfield. JP comes out on top. Heidi outnumbered once again. For now. Lochner. Crusader. Bubble bid. Heidi gets JP. Lochner. Takes Pepsi, but needs to quick do 180 to Cape Builder. Everyone's coming for Heidi now. Here we go. Oh. Oh, has Heidi popped through the window? See you later. Now it does look like WTH's push and their advantage here is going to go down. The machine and Caljon. Uh, Artie coming in and Bubble allowing Tim Machine to push through here. Bubble Beard doesn't see. Bubble Beard pushes away. OP goes down. A bad move from Bubble. Oh. Ooh. Now, Havold against Nikoli and Wobblegong. Look at this. Maybe Havold is looking at the map. But goes down. Where is this going to land? That is what he was... Out. <clears throat> takes out the repair station but a great move from crowd killer and wild bill just in the nick of time that is what Apple was doing <clears throat> before he goes down both players out to defend here and repair that core tank in the distance he is absolutely not gonna move until they have a great advantage on this point and until then it is just best just to pick anyone off from that angle just over halfway now in the game and it's been intense it's been extremely intense we're seeing some disgusting kills from both teams but with only having one point difference between them it only means there's a two minute gap window from a loss to a win orbit and nice Orbit got one. Boot. 
with the MG taking charge and not for long mosh good that swing there yep maybe maybe boy next door oh boy next door with a fantastic shot FRD taking shots at orbit. Core still struggling to find this garrison. They are expecting the garrison to be a lot closer than it actually is and, and, and having one out so far away. I'd say it's confusing core to see where they're coming from. They can't find it. They're searching and searching. A great garrison angle for them to push into. Benfield out in the angle that doesn't see woof uh, maybe now maybe no block now comes in I think we can see starting it's a long journey Flanking round. Absolutely unopposed for a long time. So we'll come into that very, very shortly. Let's have a little look. That chapel here. But first, Sergeant Rico against Crooks. Who is going to come out on the road? Crooks comes out on top. Sergeant Rico down. Toki and Exis come in. Why is Anthrox. Sergeant Rico gets Anthrox, but it's Wazu. Wazu goes down. Rico goes down. But will they be able to make it? In time, Garrison's just right there. They should. Sergeant Rico went down pretty quick after he spawned in. OP goes down, but this is the moment. Toki. Can he get on it? And is on it, but as we see a Garrison go down, we see a contestment over here at Hill 5. That will not last long. The garrison. Because. Yes there's no players there. But it's just. Outer angle capping. Getting capped here. Let's get back. To WN4. Avil goes down. Desperate to try and push his team up there. It, it, he knows. Time is getting very very short he needs his players to push up into the point now they need something core needs an angle they need something spectacular they need a moment and when core does have a moment they tend to take it will they get their moment today 40 minutes remaining but it also looks like yes Tank has turned its angle, got a little bit closer, creeping, which is going to be a big advantage for Core. Garrison finally going down in H34 for WTH. Core finally managing 
to find it. Look at this, Mevins. I I don't know. I don't. I don't know if he's actually going to get an angle on this. It does look like he can. Oh, just hit. That tank can't see. Mevins, is he going to do it? Ah, the tank seen him. Oh. Mevins. He keeps trying to take it out. But we're seeing a truck. We just see a truck go wide. What was that? Maybe just reinforcements. Here it comes. Here it comes. Mevins might need to keep that one. He's going to need it. In comes his truck. And it's such a good angle. No one is watching. Unless. Unless Wild Bill and Crow Killer can do it. Look at this. What are you doing? Don't go in the middle. Crusader. Fuck. Oh, we have a desperate push there. Chuck down. It's more happening. Over here at chapel. Abo wants to push. Throws a flare on. Big amount of players getting picked up here. CLA on the left. Heidi on the right. Abo up front. Cocky, don't run on TRA. Abu, just letting a player slide in between here. Goes down. Thankfully, to Incognito in the MG. DL taking out squad leader in the distance. Another flare up from high, uh, from Abu. One trench line to separate the teams here. One trench line or one audacious push in the open field here. Dorburn wants to go for it. Cruiser. Thorburn goes down though. Rutan did spawn in. Looked like he was going to shoot. Star. JKL goes out on the left. But Toki has managed to sneak all the way around, but he's getting hit. You can see a little bit of blood come out of him. There he goes. He goes down. Incognito. About to get pushed by Expresso. Oh, split in three. And a bloody grenade. Now we might see a little bit of RT hit on here. Now, the corner of the there is smoked out. In comes a tank for WTH. We didn't see that quad tank out in the distance. Maybe it went over to the uh, the RT, but we're not seeing anything flanking behind as of yet. Truck down 
Reinhardt pushes. Desperate. I think they should be building a repair station here. Let's have a little look. Yes. Reinhardt. Comes. Throws an OP. Good shot from the WTH. One hit. No. Oh, he's getting close. Ah, oh, he's getting repaired. But right now, he's unaware. The the WTH are, are taking out a tank on the other side of the, the hedge. And right now, he's not seeing this. Nor does Duba. The tank is firing at a tank, and yet we're not pushing it. This could be dangerous. Bucky, Crusader, and Cal Johnny. Cal John, sorry. Duba pushes. One down. He goes down. Ryan out. Ah! Thankfully, Cal John pushes wide, but I think he's going back for it. I think he's seen the OP. Nikolili. Oh! Does it? Is this the moment? Toki! We're seeing! We're seeing a bombing run. It will probably be on WN7. Here we go. Diagonal angle. Shoot! Repair station, I believe, went down. Yes, it does. Garrison's still alive, though. For WTH. Is that OP? Still up it is. Blank. Nick Lilly. Take out Cal John. And you've got the angle. But it looks like blank. Angry bird in the distance. Oh, right now, Duba. The, the person that you don't want to spawn is right now. And to survive. He's going to put the OP back up. Duba, can he do it? Angry Bird. We need Angry Bird to take out Duba. Satchel. On it. And look at that. We can see the garrison from this angle. Duba goes down. But so will the tank and the OP will stay alive. Pocky. The arm will knowingly. Frank pushes towards his death here. Blank desperate to try and get a satchel on as well. Unaware that Duba's already thrown one down and Blank is about to go down. Blank survives and might actually get the OP. Good, good, good work from WTH. Great play, but Crusader. We see it as well. Crusader alive, the squad leader. Can Duba get it? Yes. Fantastic pushing from 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 uh, WTH and, and good work from from the defenders. How oh, we didn't see that earlier, I'm not too sure, but we do see a garrison, and I think Blank is seeing it now. Surely Blank sees that. He's aiming towards it. Yes, that garrison. There it is. Oh, it's smart. So we should start to see some arty here, but. The machine almost got eyes. Duba closer, maybe waiting for the last great hit from Nicolili taking out the garrison. This is great work. This is what WTH needed, but Duba goes down. Satchel, Sema, Zoon, and Pummel. Pum Humpel, sorry. Zvin. Satchel on the building. I am going to leave you right here because I am desperate for the trailer.
boy next door. I think. Wants to put a search all. Yes. Aims for the middle of the building. We're seeing an airhead. A brave one from Core. Absolutely brave. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was more towards W7. But. Jacob looks like he's already. Yep. He's already spotted it. So has Yarrick. But let's have a quick look at this satchel here. Tin machine. And humble. See you later. Another satchel on the tank here. And we are seeing... Lochner, Crusader and Benfield start capping here. Let's have a quick jump on this airhead quickly. As it land and they're already pushing away so it looks like it's already been dealt with. Yep. How are we looking? At Hill 5 WTH. Another little grasp on hill 5 here. WTH uh, yet to take it over halfway. It's like a 75, maybe even a 76. Very damaged bubble beard. Wants to get shot, but will be aiming directly in front as he turns around the corner. Crusader gets one. Bubble beard. Still facing the tank here. Desperate to try and get on it. Crusader down. Benfield alive though. Brutan might take a shot. Brutan might take a shot and Gold Dragon just survives. Might see another shot. Oh, hit the roof. Bubble beard flying over the tank. Let's have a little look at the map. Great garrison in H7 there. Able to flank round and back up into WN7 to stop any attack. But it looks like it's coming from around here. Thanks to Abu's flare. Imolo, DL, about to get attacked from behind from Toki. DL will be the first victim. Or maybe not. Toki is the first victim. Look at this, double teamwork on the tanks there. One near orbit and spin in the middle. And one right on that crossroad here. Rudia, one, Semma. Nah. I can't. The tank. Led by Kaffir, German, and Sitch. Desperate to take Mosh is chasing. Orbit needs to help the tank. Sitch and Cafe straight away. Out. To repair.
I haven't actually seen Touch in the game yet. So nice to see him playing, but look gummy. He's on the road in front of him. It's happening once again. WTH back on Hill 5. They're doing it time and time and after again. When are they going to be able to go fully all the way? But the relentless core defenders are back at it. House Gangsta and Benfield. This time Benfield coming behind. Benfield. Doesn't see Pepsi. Pepsi looks like left. One down. Pepsi unaware. Oh, Benfield. Oh, Benfield. And I think I have a feeling that I was going to say that this was the moment, but they spotted the garrison. Benfield knows exactly where it is, and all eyes on this garrison here. Rupi is against. Fruit Town. Fruit Town comes out and chop. Jockey should be able to make this. Would it be a big spawn? He's on it. Harrison going down on the point. This is the best opportunity WTH have got on Hill 5. Would they be able to hold it and cap? Currently getting defended. About 30-40% now has been capped. Can they go the whole way? Recon plane coming up. Over 50%, but it's held. Core are holding it and defending for now. Oh, just as WTH have. The eyes on the prize with a 4 1 core coming back and having none of it. But Profit coming behind here against Jockey. Jockey wins the duel. Oh, I'm fully, absolutely fully defended. Jockey with a great shot. Oh, did he manage to see that? Jockey still being the only player. Look, no, Benfield and Zvin come back in. Capping once again. And we're seeing Caf Babe, German and Sitch push up with their tank now. Having a tank on this point is going to be huge for WTH. Zvin goes down to Toki. Toki coming from the north side here. I think that was locked. Now that just went down. Now, it's going to be pretty interesting because as WTH stretch themselves to take out Hill 5, what is Core doing over at WN7? Uh, just goes to show how many WTH players are actually on to that push. They've committed themselves now. WTH fully committed themselves, only laying a handful of players back. This is WTH pushing now. Duba around the side.
Proby goes down. Benfield gets inside the trenches. Duba still on the corner. I think he's actually marking the tank here, or he's trying to spot where the tank is. Coming up to 50% for WTH. Only Will Mail. What is his last bit? Will Mail. Will Malkin, sorry. Will Malkin. Takes out through turn. Sergeant Rico chases. But. Sergeant Rico gets on top. There is this finally the moment for WTH. Zoom, Espresso, Crusader, Fielder, a rocket. This is going to be it. Now, there's a big spawn there. What was that? Just a recon, uh, an OP. But we might see a, a, a quick twist, twist here if WTH cap, because if they do core have got an awful lot of players here to recap it but it's getting awfully tight oh great straight straight through w uh hill, hill five there there it there's a plane that goes by core they are holding on with the grip of their teeth Toki. Oh, Toki! Fantastic. He goes down, but he don't care. He just took out the whole entire spawn there, which is absolutely fantastic. This is what they needed. Next spawn wave comes in from next boy. And Kugu. It's been there. Core, oh, fantastic. Fantastic defending. And. And will they be able to switch it? Boy next door is still here. What's he up to? Will he put a satchel down? No, he goes down. I believe that is it. We're going to have maybe one spawn wave here. In that smoke. There it is. Dookie. With the kill on the tank, it's absolutely been a brutal game. It's been fantastic. It's Trotch against Havold. Here we go. Havold. Nice. Nice. Hello. Again. However, however well Core defending. They have just over 11 minutes to get onto WN7. They have struggled throughout the day, throughout the game. They haven't got anywhere close to WN7, even to even con contest it. Um, right from the beginning, core uh, being pushed back from the WTH. Now, that was a spotter, so I'm guessing that was Abu. Maybe he might be marking a garrison here. He might have heard the noise. We'll see. Fully, fully defended from core over here on hill five.
Now we might actually see a bit of a tank play right out in the distance there. Oh, I just missed it! No! Oh! I wasn't expecting him to kill it that quick. Nice zoom and tin machine. Supplies coming down on the hill five. That means they still have a lot of garrison up. Look at that for the MG. Just trying desperately to catch anyone in the distance. Duba's still alive though. What's Duba up to? Duba down. Nicolelli. 4v1, 4v1, Tim Machine goes, gets the OP here. Tim Machine also catches Nicolelli. Now, now, has Zoom seen the garrison? He must have. He stopped, he's marked it. The garrison is marked for core on the WTH garrison. What will we see now? Will we see Mosh? There it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, Mosh with the fantastic long shot. Also followed up by the artillery. That landed over here. What was it aiming for? It was aiming for the tank. Chronic aiming for the tank here. I think he's got two out so far, so this is not bad. Seeing as you have got a 20 minute cooldown on it, and it costs an awful lot. Core. Gradually getting closer and closer. This is the closest that they've been to WN7 for an awful long time, for at least 45 minutes. WTH pushed right out. So, in the dying 10 minutes, are we going to see the almighty recap? It's a big ask. It's a very big ask. Mosh goes down, not looking good. WTH in the front line where Caljon, Valley, Bully, sorry, and Exus is. Zvin. Should be going down to Exus from behind here. Here we go. an open one from Chronic there with the supplies. Can you use it to get Garrison up? Doesn't look like it so far. Maybe he's just out of reach here. Looks like he might put one out behind a boil drum.
Crusader takes out Toki, supported by the tank on the bottom right of the screen here. Long shot from the rocket. Who is this? Who is this? It's German and Pepe searching for the garrison. Crusader is in. Takes one. Toki. Oh, the, the player that's probably on the most form of tonight. Toki against Crusader. Crusader does have the upper hand because Toki is pinned in here. But is allowed Toki to come out. Nevertheless. Got supported. Maybe by Pepsi. We've got Squealer. Oh. Push it. Yeah, it was a bad push from Squealer. Look, dummy. Recon versus Recon. We don't see this often. Lucky. Luck dummy against Abu. Before Abu even got a shot, he was down. His face has disoriented. But yeah. What's this? What's this? Another airhead. The last opportunity. For core. The last opportunity. And Chronic is already on his way. Desperate to make it his. He should be getting it. But. Will we see smoke? We should start be seeing it now. Or will we even see a bombing runner? We haven't seen one yet before in a long time. So does how uh, have old there comes the smoke? I'm seeing no plane. There's not gonna be a bombing run. Chronic will be able to take this out. Airhead down. WTH. Absolutely will win this. You know, a minute and a half before they can start capping. It's not going to happen. It didn't look at all um, like that they were going to win this game from how WTH managed to set up. Give it about half an hour. So from the one hour mark, WTH were absolutely in the driving seat and really dominated the game pushing core back which is what they needed chronic throwing an airhead down in the last few minutes just in case just in case here comes the 76 big spawn here from a few ops it looks like one two maybe even three have all Maybe trying to get a Oscar <laughs> sees the tank. I will pull. No way. I am out. Blank pushes away. Knows that how many people are going to be coming. Oh. Tank's got eyes. Tank's got eyes. Oh. 
to finish up the game. Wow. It's Satchel goes down. It just kind of... It, it, it sums up the game for me. Wherever Paul were going, WTH were there. And regardless if he's on WTH or not, that's how the game went. Wherever Paul went, WTH was already there. In my love. Against Profit. on the side Rico Benfield against JP edge to edge here Benfield pushes away one and a half minutes it will be a WTH win oh Arty Now in the last few minutes, let's have a little look at the teams here. How is everyone playing? How did everyone get on? Good kills here from the board. We've just under 30 seconds now. Wait. Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> oh my God. I thought I froze then. Fantastic, WTH winning 3-2 to two against Core. Big rivals, big result for WTH. Commiserations to Core, absolutely fantastic play. They've done their best. They gave it their all. But WTH with that first cap and just purely defended. Very, very well played. Here's a look at the points here. Oh, missed it. Now, stay, 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 stay. We have got Havold himself. And I believe we're going to have Chronic joining us uh, to show have a little talk about the game and how that it went for them. Stay right there. Now, I took a little bit extra time there just in case, you know, we've had a great stream so far. It's all been working, so I didn't want it to mess up there. So I apologize for being so, uh, so late there. But let's get the guys in now. <clears throat> so, Havel, 
and Chronic will be. Ah uh -huh. here he is, the man of the hour. How are you? Oh, uh, just stay right there because it's not actually catching your voice for a second. Um, how's that? Oh, man. yes, it's working. All right, perfect. How was that for you? Um, <laughs> it's tense. <laughs> it's tense. Like, I know these games are long anyway, but that felt like a fucking long game, man. It, yeah, especially when there's only one point between them. You know, yeah, it, it, it's uh, definitely difficult. These 90 minute games are just, well, I say 90 minute, like, we all met up and started yeah. prep, blah, blah, blah. Like, what seems like five hours ago now. So. Um, the, it's all the pre-runs. It's, it's all making sure everyone's in. They know what they're doing. You know, it's a big, it's, it's an actual evening just to play this game. And, and it, it's good. You know, it's good because you see the results like how you did today. And I think um, WTH, you know, they dominated the field from the start. They had a fantastic start into the game. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure who who was um that got the arty but they took out the truck at the beginning we did yes so we that, didn't know that yeah, yeah. um i don't know who did, RT got did reform one. did reform hit a truck uh i know i know one of the tanks hit a truck and got like three or four kills i think they did but that was after the arty the RT right, took okay. out the main truck well there was two trucks that went into the point the arty took out one and then meh, about 30 seconds later um <laughs> someone else took out the truck by themselves as being an AT. I did not know that. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> we um, had no idea. Yes, yeah, so that, that allowed you to have a fantastic start and you had a lot more players um to obviously jump out of the trucks and be in a point because of that reason. Yeah, so, so, so we noticed um obviously we lost against Trigger last week. Um yes. on a similar situation like this, like a point where like if you cap first you 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 know you're pretty much set for the rest of the game, um depending on layout and stuff. Yeah. So we put a lot of work in the last, mm -hmm. oh, what, seven days, making mm -hmm. sure that we pretty much just overwhelmed the point and go back to basics of, you know, Hell Let Loose, which is if you have more players in the cap zone, you cap. Um, yep. Obviously, we still, we still went for a bit of map control and stuff like that, but we, we mainly decided, like, we want to have as many people in the cap as possible and hopefully limit how many people they had in cap. And if yeah. we got some luck along the way, then... So be it. Um, I'm just buzzing when I use precision strikes. To be honest, like <laughs> you got two actually. So uh, I got. I thought I only got one, but <laughs> oh, I I thought I, I saw two. So I'm gonna no, say it two. Was... No, it was two. It was two. How are you, Harold? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, um, to court, they didn't have the points behind them. You know, WTH, oh, no, they, they they had you know the solid three at the bottom. But it did work in your favour because you did have two points together. That would have helped because I think if you didn't, WTH would have taken Hill 5 from earlier First on. thing, The first thing we noticed was it's pretty much the same layout. We played TO on in the semi-finals last year, um, which as allies is, you know, it's fucking rough. Like, I, yeah. Hill, Hill into WN7 is just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. But it, it's also not easy for us to push at all. So you end up with this, like, same with the TL semi-final last year. Yes. You end up with this, like, grind for 90 minutes where both sides want to commit, but to commit they have to, like, go mm -hmm. for map control, which puts you at a lot of risk. So you saw we, like, committed to Hill, and then the moment we saw that they all jumped back, like, <laughs> we, yeah. I, was, I was already screaming for everyone to come back. <laughs> um, you know it's fucked up when you have to say if you can't fucking driving run. <laughs> yes, I actually caught that. You took about two, maybe three players out, and that actually yeah. turned it. I was like, wow. I, I know. <laughs> I think for us as well, we, we didn't know what to expect with this game because the way things have gone the last few months, well, even nearly a year now, we haven't played core for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so we were sort of like, we, we know what to expect from watching them, but we don't know how they're going to play against us. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you, it was you nice to get like, a game in together. You have your skirmishes in like uh, the sweaties and playing them in public, but yeah, that's yeah. absolutely nothing compared to always the same old story. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be fair, have you, you your defending team done extremely well? WTH were knocking on the doors for numerous times, and you were there sometimes in a nick of time, defended it with the strafe, but you defended very well. And I think the biggest 
bug for your defenders was not being able to find their WTH garrison for a long time. You kept figuring out where they were coming from and you were venturing outside, you know, uh, like a square or two to, to think that WTH would have a closer garrison. But no, it's so far out that you didn't want to venture that far, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. which allowed them to constantly start getting their attack onto um, Hill 5. So, but how was that in your eyes? Because, you know, bearing in mind the points weren't in favor of you, you did honestly a fantastic job. Um, you were relentless throughout the game and you just didn't have the spark. You needed something, but you didn't have it. But how was it for you? I don't know. It's it's like calls are not uh, being answered right. It's I think it's part of hubris, like thinking that you can do whatever you like and it will work out in the end. Like we don't play like we are used to play, in my opinion. There are some like hard spots right now. We are relocating some squads right now because people took a break and other things. Mm -hmm. And we did not even prepare that much for the match. Like normally we would like try prepare our openers and stuff right now we are just like going into it and i think that's you also from my side so i think we took it a little bit light today and the beat us like at, you know, like the bill or tail you know what i mean so i'm not sure but when i saw the points i didn't silly know uh fuck you <laughs> because like w and seven is the worst point you can get as allies like i would prepare to fight about w and four or something or shepherd but not that point is fucked up, like, with a whole open field for allies. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hold, like, your meat grind pressure from all sides, you're really hard to get it. And half of my team jumped, like, in the city and fought there. And yeah, they, they came closer and closer, but in the end, because there was no meat grind, all WTH guys could move free, and they put the, pushed them back. So it's like, what should I say about it? I'm yeah. not happy with the outcome today, but that's how it works. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. People it did almost it. become yeah. sort of fight in the city yeah. mini game at one point. Yeah, and <laughs> when you have a top dog, everybody, everybody is like looking out that you win almost over time. But some matches are not there, and I don't. Mm -hmm. It's a lesson still. Like mm -hmm. next time we will be more on our feet again. I think we will sharpen our teeth again more. Well, we're still going to meet in the ECL most likely season at some point. So let the mm -hmm. games coming up. <laughs> um, We'll see us on VHCA again, basically, I think. Oh, yeah, yes. true, but it's so, so long away. So long away. Yeah. I think you guys need a break between each other now. And it's, and it's better like to have like a lose now, so you can, you're you getting more back on your feet for the next games when losing and like like going easier on yourself, moving in, and then you lose like the important game. It's like, still an important game, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yep. So I'm not... I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I, I, I was sweating. It just watching, and I guarantee the, the, the viewers were sweating as well. So some of the players, I don't know, but they need more than a shower. They need something. Um, well, I want to just mention a few players um, that I thought done very well in the game. Um, and f I think for about the first 20, 25 minutes, I knew that two of core players was going to be exceptional throughout the game. And it was... Um, if I get the names right, Profit and Toki. You mean to Toki and Profix? Profit, sorry, Profit. I've been saying Profit throughout the whole day. Sorry. Oh, um, that's normal, man. It's not um, you. Profix and Toki, they were absolutely relentless. They were very, very well um, done. A lot of killing in the right players, right plays at the right time, defended very well. Um, Toki was everywhere i don't know if he was jobs squad hopping i don't know but he was everywhere so great play between those two but that's one of our news he's really good N new players is he yeah he's really new but oh, he's okay. well really nice guy and really active and tries his best nice well he, in my eyes fantastic play from him today uh for wth it was uh sergeant rico <laughs> and well Swans. always yeah <laughs> I, the first first thing i saw of sergeant rico i saw him in the uh assault right <laughs> Row and I thought, oh, here we go again. But he was changing around and he was there everywhere and he'd done a very fantastic game as well. And so did Reform. Reform was relentless on the attack. We, you know, we, we've seen Reform uh, play exceptionally well, but it was for those four players, in my eyes, did did very, very well. Um, but when you I mean, watch this, oh, God. I mean, Reformed is like one of those, like, people probably noticed by now that he's in a tank. 
<laughs> yeah. when he used to like hit like hundreds in infantry and yeah it's a decision we didn't take lightly but it's paying off at the minute and yeah i'll give rico the big ups because he does do everything so even if in the loss against trigger last week he mm-hmm. was playing fucking tank simp you know sitting on the back of a tank repairing it as yeah. i like top frago so he's a guy that will do anything for the team and you know a fantastic player he uh <laughs> he gets on the end of a lot of accusations but fuck it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, even if he gets a free friendly kills I, I don't think anyone should complain with the amount of i think he yeah he was like top frag wasn't he or Joy? i haven't looked yet uh no I, not about this one but i think through seasonal i know that wth uh, yeah, had yeah. a little bit less games but he was up there with the ratio of being the best um and i'll his oh, one... that hill five save oh my god <laughs> there what just on the stream right now it's the hill five save oh oh um there's there's one moment um that i think that you guys should probably go back to and i think someone's probably out there clipped it already it's the one hour 13 minute mark where i can't remember the core player but i lined the the camera up at the wth player and i can see the, the core player in the distance and i thought he was about to just rifle shot him no Took a, uh, an AT rocket straight to the body, blew him up smooth, and I just thought that's one hour thirteen. That that was the game, you know. That's how intense that this game was going to be, and it was brutal. And we see a lot of that throughout the game. But that was that was fantastic. I don't know where that leaves you guys in terms of uh, table standing now. I know that WTH you definitely needed that win after two losses and two, yeah. um, two wins. So that's Giving you a three to two now. Um, well, now we have to win against DC Raptors. <laughs> oh, that's a game I cannot wait that to see. That's going to be a good game. DC Raptors has been very well lately. Um, now, the poor guys now get the pre- more prepared call, I suppose. <laughs> We're not sure if we win that, but we will be in the more. I, mean, I was, I was yeah. interviewed, I think, by you know, in a couple of games back, and I said about how these, these teams are all interchangeable at the minute. So you had like. Us who beat DC and then DC beat Trigger and then yes. you know Core beat DC and one one six beat us and it, DC beat one one six like it's, it's probably it's closer than it's ever been depending on you know mm-hmm. how the team turns up on the day the points so it's some really good shit at the minute especially with all these different competitions I think yes I hundred percent agree and if they're like it now I I'm very much looking forward to the the full seasonal where it's this game wins you go through do you know what i mean every game is going to be like the final it's you you can't predict on who will win on those ones but we'll get to that at a later stage uh, like today was fucked anyways like we had 15 people signing off signing in the whole time it was like it was fucking weird i don't know 70 signups 15 people like <gasps> I can't come. Something happened. Yeah, I'm... we have the same thing the last few weeks. It's sort of a weird position at the minute. <laughs> I know I... a lot of teams are struggling with numbers on and off. And I did mm. know when I like I was working when they banned with you guys. When I saw you to allies, I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have gone for that, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I guess you need to go speak to Luck. <laughs> um. I, I was happy to play Hurtgen Axis. Uh, so you, you could have I would have done that. I would have done that rather than fucking X Allies <laughs> on you here. So is that is that the next game when you play each other? It's going to be Hogan for us and swap it. Uh, we could scream on Hurtgen if you want. I'd be up for it. I haven't played Hurtgen since like two seasons ago in like the first round. <laughs> well, that's for another day. Um, but if any of you have anything to say. That will be it for me. No, I'm happy, man. Um, no. Like I said, have all this GG, GG Tool of Core, and hopefully we'll, the only we'll thing play again. Say, let the memes come. <laughs> let the memes come. Uh, we, we, oh, don't meme me <laughs> we, don't, we don't have any meme channels. We don't have any meme channels. I'll let you uh, roast my boy Known and see oh. how... Uh, need to see how biased he was for this stream first, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to roast me again. Um, but, uh, boys, I mean, thank you very much. Uh, for tuning in. We'll see each other this week anyway. So now joined. I go to the debriefing and I will fucking <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it. Enjoy well, it. Thank you. Later, guys. Thanks thank you very much, home. guys. Yeah. Goodbye. Care. And there we have it. We've heard from Chronic, leader, commander for WTH. We've heard from Havold. Very unhappy from, from his voice here. Both 
devastated, uh, both knackered, both drained. It's been emotional. It's been absolutely hectic. What more can you watch and hope for in a game between Core and WTH? I think that is one of the best intense games that they've had. Roll on for the next time they meet. But from me to you tonight, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much and good night.